right, one, two, one, two. You already know what it is. You see that big smile on this brother face, on the elder face. We are here with the honorable, the honorable Mel Chesedek, Supreme Shabazz, God, Allah, in the person. And I want to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a, a shot at this brother from head to toe, man, from toe to head. Look at this brother, man. Look at them shoes. Gators got the two-tone gators on and always looking sharp and clean and good, man. That's one thing I can say about our elder. Yo, man, for the people that's out there, man, tell them how old are you are, brother. As y'all know, Melchizedek Supreme, Shabazz Allah, Universal High Priest of the Nation of Islam on earth and in the universe. Devout follower of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, okay? Uh, okay, now, as far as my age is concerned, I am 85 years old. Woo! 85, okay. man. And I'll be 86 years old, November 20th, okay? I had three weeks ago, I had a complete medical checkup. No medical problems at all. No medication, okay? No cane, no walker, no wheelchair, no mobile, none of that. And probably can run faster than most of y'all out there. <laughs> and like I told y'all before, all you got to do is take a whole quart of original prune juice, drink the whole quart, clean out your system, and leave that meat and fish alone and just deal with the source of all medication, which is vegetation, and you will prolong your life and look healthy, youthful, energetic, uh, a memory, a uh, recording, all, all your, your, your original faculties come back to the surface like it was originally before you went down into the slavery for the 400 years in, in, uh, in this, 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 this system under heading what we call the slave master. And I'm here at Sarnetta Studio. We go back 30, 25, 30 years. He always been a big supporter. Okay, he, and, uh, and his works action indeed speaks for himself because as you know, there is nobody in America, let's be honest, let's be fair, nobody in America that set up a platform in the street, okay, on the local, uh, local, national, uh, universal uh, 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 direction, you understand, like he did and gave everybody his platform welcome everybody to come and express their knowledge, their wisdom, understanding, regardless of what way of life uh, 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 that they came from or what way of life that they was dealing with. He gave them the opportunity to come and express themselves and, 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 let, and let their knowledge be born. Okay? So we must always give respect to him. And nobody else has done that. Nobody else has done that. You can go all over the country. There is no platform like was set up like the one on 125th Street uh, by Sanetta. And we must give respect to that. Anybody feel that they uh, can do better than that, they don't talk about that. Do that, okay? And I'm also going to make it plain because a lot of that get calls. You, 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 Mr. Farrakhan, you say, why say this about Mr. Farrakhan, Mr. Farrakhan, this, Mr. Farrakhan, that. Let me tell you something. You don't have nobody in America, minister, captain, lieutenant, or secretary, that promote Mr. Farrakhan more than I did, okay? All right? Because everybody knows. I always kept from 800 to two, from 800 to 1,000 of Minister Farrakhan's lectures on 125th Street, plus supplying 25 stores at the same time, plus bringing the Final Call building from Chicago, okay, the Final Call building number one in Chicago, I bought the Final Call building to, to 125th Street and named it the Final Call building part two, okay? And as you all know, Minister Farrakhan's always in agreement Okay, with well, what I do because I've been I've been re reproducing his lectures for over twenty years, over twenty years, and he never at one time said a word uh, about my uh, uh, functions or uh, or operating. Okay, and he also made a plain that if y'all was out there doing it, I would have to be out there. Okay, because I was out there in the rain, the cold, the snow. Okay, with a, a snowsuit and a Sherilyn, and boots, 
10, 12 hours that y'all all know. So don't get caught up in the envy and jealousy of Melchizedek. You get out there and do what you supposed to be doing. And if you was out there doing what you were supposed to be doing, you wouldn't have time to be caught up in that petty envy and jealousy thing just because my works, actions, and deeds make you feel shame and you're embarrassed, you understand? Because so you always got to throw something negative out there which don't stand up because everybody know I'm about the positive, okay? And as far as the premium lessons is concerned, hey, it's been on the worldwide internet for over 21 years. So all of y'all that have a problem uh, 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 with it or you, or, or, you, or you allow yourself to be influenced not to uh, uh, receive it, go to my website. Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah.com. Universal Supreme Shabazz Allah.com. All them lessons is right there. It's free. I've been paying for it for over 21 years. So feel free to go there and make a printout copy for yourself and your family. Isn't that okay? It's not about what you want. It's about what's best for you. And stop listening to negative, uh, uh, negative conversations or, or negative interference, okay? If anybody can tell you what's good for you and what's best for you, you're wasting your time listening to them. You know, today is no time for negative conversation. Keep everything positive, okay, for not just for your, yourself and your family, but also for the future generations that's coming behind us. We are moving on, and we have to leave a positive direction for the next generation. No spookism, no fantasy, no dreaming. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? It has to be right and exact that you can show and prove whatever you are uh, uh, speaking on or talking about or presenting to the public. Okay? So I'm going to give you back to my main man, Sarnetta. We go back, we go back. And one thing about Sarnetta, I have the utmost love and respect for him because, like I said before, nobody has set up a platform like he did. And everybody that's out there who got popular, who got famous, or got known, or got prestige, your your, your start. Was on Sarnetta's platform on the 125th Street. He gave everybody the opportunity to make their knowledge born and express their understanding of whatever their way of life was, a way of life, nation, organization, or whatever. So let's give credit what credit is due. Now we're going to get busy. So hold on to your seatbelt because Sarnetta always got the heavy questions to ask me. And I always tell him, ask me anything. And if anybody feels that I don't know what I'm talking about, or you have a more understanding than I do, all you got to do, let's start to set it up. Sit down. Come. And bring everything. You can bring your Quran. You can bring your Bible. You can bring your high deep. You can bring your prayer rug. You can bring your nightgown. You can bring anything you want. Come sit down with the high priest. And I guarantee you, if you're not into the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad like I am, I will squash you like a roach, okay? All right, so here we are. Here's Sarnetta. I named him, I named him Darn King because he's powerful. He's powerful. <laughs> All right, Mel Chesedek, man. Um, talk to us, man, today. Um, if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was here today, what do you think his... Um, uh, what do you think his take would be on reparations? You ever heard of ADOS? Yeah. What's the ADOS? There you go. So, if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad was here today, what do you think his perspective would be dealing with reparations and fighting for ADOS? <laughs> That's easy. If the most Honorable Elijah Muhammad was here, he wouldn't even, now, there's no disrespect to the program. But he wouldn't even waste his time because his program is about do for self. Reparation, you will, it will not be no money. Forget that because America don't have nothing. All they're doing is printing a paper that you, that's only good in America. Okay, But if you go outside, you might, you might have to have some gold. you have some gold or some silver. Now, there's nothing wrong with that program because the Salas Muhammad was fighting that program for about 50 years by himself. He spent a fortune uh, trying to get this reparation uh, uh, off the ground. You understand? And it's still about reparation, reparation, reparation. Now, just say for conversation, the government say, okay, here's a reparation. 
You got 40 million, 40 million, 40 trillion, whatever amount of money you feel that you're entitled to over the years that uh, uh, this has been taking place. Okay? Where are you going to put the money? Okay? Like I said to, like I said to uh, Sander, I think on one of my other interviews, if, they, if, they, if the government knocked on your door and gave you two million, three million, four million, five million uh, uh, that you was entitled to from your uh, ancestors, where are you going to put the money? Okay? You don't have no bank. Okay? You had a bank, but you didn't have enough sense to keep it. You understand? You was trying to be smart thinking that you was hurting, hurting the, the program, hurting the economical program by getting rid of the bank. So just say for conversation, the government said, here's trillions of dollars. Where are you going to put it? You didn't have sense enough to keep the bank. How are you going to be a nation with no bank? Okay? So you want to do You got to turn right down and put it in your slave master's bank. And once it's in your slave master's bank, he controls it and can dictate to you how to spend it. Let's get real here. You understand what I'm trying to say? Stop making a lot of noise, you understand, when you don't have no concrete evidence, okay? Reparation, beautiful. I respect the program, okay? But me, I'm a man of reality. I'm a businessman, okay? Where are you going to put the money if you got it? Have you thought you're going to put it in your closet? You're going to put it in the shoebox under your bed? Where's your bank? Why didn't you keep the bank? You call yourself knowing so much. You call yourself knowing so much uh, out of envy and jealousy of the, uh, 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 of the nation of Islam, under the hand of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, you're going to let a, a, a snake come in there and get rid of a bank that's set up, operating, doing business, and, 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 all, and all, all the believers' money is in there. You allow that, Okay. Okay, and you had enough, you had 46 years, I'm talking about black people in general, you had 46 years to reestablish to re the bank, the your bank. Stop it. If you don't have positive, a positive program, don't waste the people's time because you're starting to sound like a broken record. You have no place to put the money if they reimburse you the money. So let's be real here. So the money, whatever you get, you're going to have to do what? Give it, put it in your slave master's bank. bank. He, he controlled it and going to tell you how to spend it. it. Okay? okay? All right, y'all. Um, just to clear it up for y'all, because I know it's going to be somebody out there who's going to be a dumb dumb and say, how come Saw is trying to get Mel sick? <clears throat> this video was shot a week and a half ago. I just say I had the strength to put it up yet. So don't think that this was before I got sick. All right? So I just had to let y'all know that. I never put it out yet because I ain't had time to put it up. Okay, okay now, now we, we got to get a little um, real here. We got to go deeper, man. I know you are one that not run from questions and shy from questions. So the question I have for you now is this, man. Um, <clears throat> Whenever the nation of Islam is challenged on the death of Malcolm X, still to this day, they don't want to take responsibility, brother. Who's responsible for the death of Malcolm X? And the reason I asked the question, because I was watching Nori Muhammad on um, The Breakfast Club. And of course, Charlemagne the God asked him the question about the death of Malcolm X. And he went on to blame everybody outside of the nation, the FBI, the CIA, the, you know, COINTELPRO. We know they all had an involvement in it. But you never want to talk about who's pulling the trigger. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're trying to take it off yourself. But, but see, everybody know what's going on today. So I ask you, my brother, who's responsible for the death of Malcolm X? Well, I would say of uh, 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 the atmosphere of Minister Farrakhan, due to all, and due to all respect to Minister Farrakhan, so I don't want nobody saying I'm talking about the minister. This right. is what he spoke on himself on uh, 60 Minutes. He explained that himself. He admitted openly that he created the atmosphere, the atmosphere that, that uh, 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 put the brothers in the frame of mind 
to uh, to do, to take to take the, to, uh, the, to take out Malcolm Malcolm X. Now, Malcolm X was one of the most envious and jealous and, and hated brothers in the nation because of his works, actions, and deeds. There is no minister in the nation of Islam yesterday or today that did the work that Minister Malcolm performed. Let's get real here, okay? It was Minister Malcolm, as I, uh, I probably mentioned it before, he set up 46 temples, Malcolm X, 46 universities, Malcolm X, put together the Muhammad Speaks newspaper uh, 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 and gave it to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as a gift, okay? And out of envy and jealousy, they never put one article in there of, of his works, actions, and deeds. You see, you always got this envy, jealousy uh, 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 mentality. And I always said that the, the powerfulest force next to righteousness is envy and jealousy. Okay. Nobody, I'm, now you hear me speak of Malcolm, I speak of Malcolm under the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Okay. Now, the assassin, you see, you can create an atmosphere. You don't have to, you don't have to pull the trigger. But you can create an atmosphere to, in, in, to in, encourage and inspire other people to do that. You follow what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. and, this is, and this is what went down. Now, we all know it was orchestrated and set up by uh, uh, J. Edgar Hoover at the time. But that gave, that gave the, br the brothers that who, was, who was out of, came out of Jersey, that didn't give them the right to, to, to take out Malcolm. Malcolm never did nothing to you. What's your problem? Okay, but the reason why they wanted to Negroes a Negro mentality to pull the trigger because if the, uh, uh, because your slave master wasn't going to do that because if your slave master had to pull the trigger if it had been not your slave master pull the trigger it would have been a big upheaval a big explosion not just in uh, the New York area but all over the country maybe all over the world you understand what I'm trying to say and so but it was Negroes, okay, who was affiliated with the nation that did the assassination. There's no getting around that. And as far as Nuri is concerned, I had mentioned this before, Nuri before. Nuri, you wasn't even born. You have no knowledge of nothing uh, when it comes to Malcolm X. You wasn't, you wasn't even born. You wasn't in, the, you were no FOI in Temple Number 7. You wasn't no lieutenant. You had no position. You understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, 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 you wasn't his security. You had nothing to do with Malcolm at all. So, Nuri, you should stop embarrassing yourself because, what, uh, uh, pork, bacon, eggs for breakfast give, offer you $2 to run your mouth, and you, know, you don't know what you're talking about. And I asked you nicely before, if you're not... You, first, you bear witness that Almighty God Allah can the person of Master W.D. Farah Muhammad. Then you, you bear witness that the, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad is his last and greatest and only messenger. Then you give your word that your word is born, born is life. You give your life or your word shall fail. So, Nuri, if you're not going to teach the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, word for word, right and exact, don't add to it, don't take away from it, just like he said, why don't you just keep your mouth shut, okay? Just, just keep your mouth shut and stop making a fool out yourself because the whole world is looking at you. And, and you're really a disappointment to me because of the fact, uh, 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 the, the, the brothers, myself, not just me, but Rashid and, um, who was it, Rashid, uh, Toy from, from New Jersey, myself, uh, 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 Islam Muhammad, uh, Islam Supreme Muhammad, uh, 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 Rashid Supreme Muhammad, and uh, um, who else? Uh, Brother David. It was, it was, it was, the, the circle that we went, we went through a lot of expenses plus a lot of interference from the from the laborers at Temple Number at, at, at Temple Number Seven. We went through a lot of expenses, you know, to put you in position so you can represent the people properly with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And you did an excellent job. See, so now you're going in another direction, making a fool of yourself. You understand? Just deal with what the messenger said. I, I told you before, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad was taught by Master Farad Muhammad. So you follow what the most honorable Elijah Muhammad say 
and stop listening to other individuals who was not taught by Master Farad Muhammad. Okay, we all students in the class. Students don't follow students. Students respect students, but students don't follow students. Students follow the teacher, and the teacher is the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And another thing, I think it was Wesley too. I think it was Wesley wasn't even born. Wesley, stop it. You see, and that's why I, I you know, I, and I, I think I mentioned before, you got to get, get come out of that white-minded mentality, Wesley. You're very brilliant, but you can't put a white mental white. His, white man's history above black man's history? Come on, stop it. You wasn't even born either. You said, you bear witness that Almighty God of law came to person of Master Farad Muhammad. You bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, his last and greatest and only, only messenger. You said that the, uh, 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 you gave your word, your word is born, born is life, you give your life for your word shall fail. So Wesley, that's your, your words, your commitment, your dedication that you made and Nuri made. So if you're not going to teach the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad word for word, right and exact, don't add to it, don't take away from it, just like he said, you need to shut up because all these so-called degrees you got, you, you, you look like a fool because you're talking about something that you have no knowledge of, you wasn't there. You understand what I'm trying to say? And those who want to know about Malcolm, you should come and sit down and talk to those who know who was with Malcolm. And Malcolm didn't just start, uh, 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 his performance just didn't start at uh, 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 Temple Number 7. You never get into the history of Malcolm, how Malcolm was the one that established Islam, the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, in all the prisons, the prison system. It was Malcolm that was coming inside the Green Haven State Prison with the, uh, uh, with the teachers of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad and laying the foundation of the teachers in, in, in the, in the penal, penal institution. It was him. It wasn't no Sunnis there. there. If there was Sunnis there, they was in the showers picking up soap because they sure wasn't saying, walking around saying, as You understand what I'm trying to say? Give credit where credit is due. You don't have nobody out there yesterday and nobody out there today that can shine the shoes of the most honorable Elijah, uh, 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 excuse me, shine the shoes of Malcolm X. You can't, show me. Nobody, you don't have that courage because Malcolm did the work. Malcolm X, under the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is untouchable. I know this for a fact, okay? And I, before I even heard uh, 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 the teachers, I didn't know about Master Farad Muhammad, I didn't know about the honorable Elijah Muhammad. I, all I know, uh, a, a man that Walter Five X at the time was telling us, Malcolm X is coming to see me tomorrow. Malcolm X, okay, fine. And he, when Malcolm came to Green Haven State Prison, is on record, is documented. You understand what I'm saying? He would speak only can speak to Walter Five X. Now Walter Five X, Balash Shabazz Allah, Mukmo Ramza is the same person. Okay. Malcolm would spend four or five hours with him in the prison, okay? And all the wisdom that he would share with Walter Five X, Walter would share with us, okay? And in and, and the, and the, uh, the, um, the articles from the Pittsburgh Courier, Malcolm brought all those articles there to Walter Five X, and Walter Five X gave each one of us the opportunity to an uh, 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 evening to take, take him to our cell and study him. And that's how I got in, 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 in tune with the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Now, I'm, I'm going to give a brother, uh, who is it? Demetric Muhammad. I got to give him respect. Demetric Muhammad, you have the utmost respect for me as a brother because uh, the, the, the good work that you did, you did an excellent job compiling all of those uh, um, uh, uh, Pittsburgh Courier articles into book form professionally and made it available. And you did it right and exact. Because myself and other brothers who have the original copies, we checked it, we checked it out with the book. And, uh, and, 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 and everything was right and exact. Okay, brother, let me ask you this. Because a lot of people don't understand, movies shape the mind of a lot of people who is weak, who don't understand, who don't have the history. So some people look towards movies to give them the history. 
like you know when um roots came out people really thought that that was real you know that that was real and that's how the white man got us and we was just some punks and running and crying and doing all kind of crazy stuff so people look at that when malcolm x movie came out with spike lee they think oh man i know the history i saw the movie so now here we are today with the godfather of harlem and how they are disrespectfully portraying adam clayton powell malcolm x and all kind of crazy stuff like they trying to show tell us that malcolm x and um uh what's my name bumpy johnson was tight and they had a tight relationship. <laughs> Malcolm only been here in the, in, in the, um, five years. He only been here five years. But they trying to make it look like these two was together and they was making all these moves and they was like, come on, man. What is your take on that right there, the movie? How much did you see? <laughs> it, it's a joke. Right. It's a joke. Mal had no contact at all. Malcolm X, under the teachers of the most honorable Latin Muhammad, had no contact with Bubby, Bubby, <laughs> or no known drug pusher. That is a lie, okay? I came home in 1960, okay? And that's when the nation Malcolm was starting to blow up, okay? Hey, how, everybody that was around Malcolm, everybody that was in the, uh, the temple at the time, was hardcore street. These were brothers who, 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 who was in the drug game. You know what I'm saying? They were in the drug game, selling the drugs, using the drugs, sticking up. All the crimes that take place out in the street, these brothers had participated in all of that. So when they got uh, uh, converted uh, uh, and, and, and came into the nation of Islam, Malcolm had them as his security. So there's no way Malcolm could be in touch with both. <laughs> it's really funny. Bumpy and all them, because Malcolm was direct with the teaching of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's a lie. It's fantasy. It's designed to mislead the people. It's meant to try to uh, discredit the, the character of, Ma uh, of Malcolm X, because you don't have nobody out there that can wear his shoes. Yes, they are today. Nobody can wear Malcolm's shoes. You know what I'm trying to say? Malcolm is the man. Now, Malcolm, under the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, was the God of America. He was the God of America. He produced it gods, okay? And he made you believe you could not die, okay? He made you believe that you couldn't die. That's why the brothers, the FOI then was so fearful, so, so fearless, so fearless, just didn't care. Organized crime, brother. <laughs> Was, a, was afraid of black Muslims, okay? And brothers were, were sticking up all, all the drug pushers out there, they was getting stuck up by Muslims. Brothers were taking them off, they were scared. There was nobody. <laughs> it was funny. Did Mel Chesedex just say that the brothers that was out there <laughs> was getting stuck up by the Muslims. <laughs> Mel, that's my man. Mel is funny as shit too. Mel don't care, he goes in. You, you believe, believe that, that you, you couldn't, couldn't die. die. That's, that's why, why the, the brothers, the FOI then was so fearful, so, so fearless, so fearless, just didn't care. Organized crime, brother, <laughs> was, a, was afraid of black Muslims. Okay? And brothers, we're sticking up all, all the drug pushers out there. They was getting stuck up by Muslims. Brothers were taking them off. They were scared. There was nobody. <laughs> it really funny. Black Muslims was black Muslims, brother. They didn't care about nothing because they, they knew they had a law. They, they was into a law that I can't die. I am God. I am God. Everything that the Honorable Mel Chesedek is saying right now is 100% correct. I remember growing up 
and seeing these Muslims, man, and you couldn't dare say a bad thing about the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, man. You couldn't because you was going to be dealt with. They would have been knocking on your door. They would have been waiting to see you. Today, these brothers are soft today. They soft. They allow people like Pharaoh who, <clears throat> they come and try to tear down the minister. They crazy. He wouldn't have been able to do that in, in the time we was growing up. I'm telling you, man. I kid you not. That it was their, their mentality. And when you had that mentality at a young age, plus with street knowledge, brother, you hey, everybody was afraid of the Muslims. The, the, the one Muslim come down the street, and I don't care who, how many was congregating, before he got to the to, to where the congregation was taking place, they parted. If they was drinking or smoking, they, doing, they stopped all that until he got through. Because they, they knew the Muslims loved it, the people. That mentality loved it, the people because we, we knew how uh, 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 our past experience has taken advantage of our people. So when we came into the knowledge of uh, 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 the, the, when, when the, the teachings brought, brought us, gave us the understanding of the, in, in, injected in us the love for our people, we became protective of our people. If, I, if, if, if me, me and my, the brothers that rode with me was coming down the street, couldn't no black man disrespect a black woman? We didn't care if that was his wife. Not in the street. We would tell him, hey, you check, is that your wife? Go home with that. You don't do that in the street. We check them, you know what I'm trying to say? So there was no association at all with Malcolm and Bumpy or any other uh, Frank Lucas, you name them, you can name them all, and I know more, I know more, Frank Matthews, all of them. You, there was no association at all. It's a lie, okay? And anybody uh, uh, feel that I don't know what I'm talking about, just come that son of the, come here, and we can sit down, and, and I can prove to you that it's a lie. Malcolm was a devout follower of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, and everybody knows that, and he had no negative activities with any drug pushes at all. Yes. Um, I know you're correct when you talked about um, when the, um, the uh, brothers had mad respect in the communities and all of that. Because we got to understand, at that time in the 60s, these were gangsters who the Honorable Elijah and Malcolm X converted. These were drug pushers. These were brothers coming straight out of penitentiary. They ain't had nowhere else to go because the churches closed their doors on them. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, give them to me. I'll make men out of these brothers. <laughs> you see? And gods. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad opened up his door. And he was taking in gangsters, drug pushers, dope fiends, and cleaning them up. Everything. Who else you know done work like that, brother? Nobody. 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 This is why it was so important for the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, to condemn Elijah. He had to make the people go against him. So they would come up with, oh, he's sleeping with the little, he's sleeping with the girls. He's sleeping with them because they got to discredit him. That's one of the things of the COINTELPRO. I always say to my people, when they say things like that, I say, okay, brother, tell me the good he did now. You already told me the bad. Let's see if the good outweigh the bad. <laughs> but they don't want to talk about the bad. Oh, no, nah, brother. He was, he was with his teenage girlfriends. He was with the, all right, all right. Everybody's saying that. Now talk to me about what he did. They don't want to talk about that. Okay. The reason why nobody wants to talk about the good of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, <laughs> because his good outshines everybody else. Nobody can match that. Nobody. Nobody. The economical program that he set up is untouchable even to today. Nobody can come up with a better program than he, and, and implement it like he did. Nobody. You understand? And he's been going for what? 45, 46 years. 46 years? You mean to tell me you're all those out there running your mouth, sound like a broken record, getting old, senile, and plain stupid, you understand? You haven't produced, you ain't even got a candy store. Hmm. Where, where, where's your, your supermarket? Where's your, your bank? Where's your newspaper plant? Where's your candy factory? Where's the fish program? 
Where's your 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 your, your, your barber shop? Your, the barber shop, the, the saloons. Oh, oh wait a minute. You, you got a thousand suits, but you ain't got no dry cleaner. He even set up a dry cleaner. You understand what I'm trying to say? Track the trailers coming from the uh, from the southern states into the city, inner cities, with produce and uh, and everything that that the people need. Show me where is that at. But you're running your mouth. You're talking. Blah, 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 blah. And like I always said, where's your agenda? Where's your economical program? Where's your progress report? Where's your finance report? You can't show nothing but your mouth, and people are sick of your mouth. And that's the reason why you don't get the support like you used to get because of the fact you're always begging begging and begging and begging and don't have nothing to show for what you're begging for. You know what I'm saying? No agenda. <laughs> I gotta repeat this. No economical program, no progress report, no financial report, and you're running your mouth? Shut up. People are sick of that foolishness. <laughs> it's, this is, the, this is the, the year of 2021. Come on. If you can't produce nothing, do yourself, I'm talking generally speaking, to everybody. If you're not producing nothing, do yourself a favor and shut up. <laughs> you know, I always say, Mel Chesedek, um, when I be doing my shows and then I open up the lines for people to call in, especially when I do an economic show or something like that, they think they saying something when they ask me. Well, Brother Sarnetta, what we need to do, we need to build economic programs and we need to get on there and start building and this and saving our money this. Uh, so what is your solution, brother, when we talking about the money and this and that? I said, brother, I don't got no solution. What greater solution can I give you than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, brother? He done gave us the solution already. So we say these things like we think this is a smart question you asking me. And so now I'm going to give you the best solution you could. Go to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, look up his programs. He gave us the solution. Farrakhan gave us the solution. Khalid gave us the solution. Fr Dr. Francis Crest Welsing, Dr. Amos Wilson. What greater solution can I give you than all of our grandmaster teachers that was here before me? And when I say that, now they stuck. Like, you really don't want the solution, because I just told you where to get it. <laughs> now, let me speak on <laughs> everybody out there. Now I'm talking to the rich Negroes. I got to say Negroes, because we don't use the other word no more, OK? All you rich Negroes, all you ball players, basketball players, uh, uh, baseball players, or you, uh, uh, um, the, the, mo the movie stars, the movie stars, the movie world, uh, the musical world, and the religious world. You got the money. You got the money off your people. And how many times have I asked you nicely, go back in the community that you came out of and set up the same economical program in your community like the messenger did in Chicago. What is your reason? What is your excuse? You got all this money in your slave master's bank. You're so dumb. You're so ignorant. You're so stupid. All you want to do is buy 10 cars, 20 cars, 30 cars. Okay? And a house over here, a house over there, a house over there, and, nine, and, and most of the time you're sleeping in a hotel. You see how stupid you are? You're ignorant. And you're sickening. I have to talk to them like this. You are sickening. You know what I'm saying? A billionaire. But you don't even set up a daycare center. You don't even go to the school that your children go to and, 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 and supply all the students with uniforms as a tax write-off. You want all these cars. You want all these houses. A waste of time and a waste of money. And your slave master is laughing at you. Because you're still a rich, dumb, rich, but still deaf, dumb, and blind. And you don't, you don't have no vision, no opportunity of, of, of economics. And to show you how stupid you are, those that you know that has economic mentality 
and know how to put things in place and do things, you don't even have enough sense to finance them. Okay. Just like, well, who is this? I think Omo Johnson bought a building or something? Omo Johnson. A, I think it was in Maryland. In, in Maryland. He bought the building. Let me show you. Uh, as an educational building for the youth, because he got all these degrees and stuff about mental health and this and that, education and all that. You're so stupid. You don't even, you don't have to give him no money. Just go renovate the building for him. And put everything there for the, for the, for, for the, for the young generation. And you think you respect it because you're up there singing a song? You think you respect it by your slave master because you throw a ball in, a, in, 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 in the loop? You think you respect it for, or could you, you could, because you made a DVD or a CD? He look at you as a fool and that's why most of y'all end up drug addicts, alcoholics, homosexuals, and a bunch of Illuminati faggots. And you go stay in that mental condition, and I'm gonna tell you something else. And you're being destroyed every day by the forces and the karma, the universal force that they call karma. And karma got everybody's address. Drugs is destruction. Alcohol is your destruction. Marijuana is your destruction. Meat is your destruction. Pork is your destruction. Colon cancer, prostate cancer is destruction. Okay? You're being chastised every day and most of them end up with nothing. Okay? And your slave master ends up with everything because everything is designed when you're not doing something constructive for your people. Instead of wealth works for you, it works against you. That's why the gods and earth calls it build or destroy. Once you have the supreme knowledge, wisdom, understanding that came down from the universal most high God who came to person Master W.D. for Rod Muhammad through his divine messenger and only messenger. And if you think there's another one out there, you're just wasting your time and making a fool out yourself. Okay? 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 So let's get real here. Okay? And do, right, do the right thing for your people. And if you're going down the highway, I said this before, and you know you're going the wrong way, you can always make a U-turn, okay? The world is laughing at you. They're laughing at you because you're unproductive, you're a producer of nothing, but yet you're still, you're a millionaire, a millionaire. And, and the, uh, the one person I have to give respect for that set, uh, that set an example, a pattern that, every, that all y'all should uh, 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 follow is that was the... Um, the basketball player, uh, what's the basketball player? The, the one that did that, put the, the educational center. Uh, Is it um, LeBron? LeBron James. Yes. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James did, LeBron a, James. LeBron James did an excellent job. Yeah. Now, the rest of y'all, you're so dumb, you're so stupid, you're so ignorant, and so full of jealousy, why don't you do the same thing in your community? Do the same thing in your community. You ain't got to, don't worry about Chicago. Let Chicago take care of Chicago. You in North Carolina, you in South Carolina, you in Georgia, wherever you are, set up the same program in your area that the messengers did in Chicago. You understand what I'm trying to say? That's all you have to do. Now, let me show you how, I have to use that word, how dumb and stupid and ignorant you are. You put all your money in the slave master's bank. The slave masters lend the money to the builders and the contractor, contract, contractors, the builders. Then the slave master build all these condos right in front of your face and in your neighborhood. And the money that builds, your money that builds the condos, your people can't even move in there because the rent's too high, they can't pay the rent. Instead of you taking the same money and hiring the contractors and the condos, the, the, the builders, and you finance them and let them build these condos and, 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 and houses and, and uh, restaurants and, and supermarkets for the community. Why can't you do that? Huh? Good question. Good question. Why can't you do that? And that's why I look at all of you as a bunch of punks for your slave master. Because you don't even have no courage to take your money and do something for your people that you came up with in their community. Good, good. Let me ask you this, brother. Now, we know that the police don't care about us. We know police brutality is always going to be here until we can defend ourselves. 
But at the same time, we know that we do need police in the community because without the police in the community, it'll really be havoc. And that's a shame that we got to depend on the police to take care of us. That's a shame. If anything takes place for any of those Negroes, they're going to die 911. Right. So here's the question I have for you. There was a conversation going on about defunding the police. Is it possible for us to protect ourselves as a people? And if not, that's a sad thing because we still depend on the police to protect us. So should we be fighting to defund the police at this day and time? <laughs> you know something? We have a powerful force out there called the FOI. But most of the time, the FOI don't protect their own community. They're so busy protecting the rappers. <laughs> right. Right. Why are you out there protecting the rappers, right. the singers, the entertainers who who doing nothing in your community for the people? For the, right. Now you're giving them all that protection just, just to be seen. seen. Hey, yo, that's the realest. That's the realest. Oh, man. Mel Chesedek just dropped the bomb. That's real. <coughs> they give the rappers and shit more protection. I think it's because they want to get photo op with, with all of the rappers. But that, that was real talk right there, Mel. Real talk, man. Say something going, going on, on about, about defunding, defunding the, the police. police. Is, is it possible for us to protect, protect ourselves as a people? people? And, and if not, not that's, that's a sad thing. thing. Because, because we, we still, still depend, depend on, on the police, police to protect, protect us. us. So, so should we, we be fighting to, to defund, defund the police, police at this, this day and time? time? <laughs> you, know <laughs> you know something? We have, we have a powerful force out there called the FOI. FOI. But, but most of the time, time the, the FOI, FOI don't protect their own community. community. They're, They're so, so busy protecting, protecting the, the rappers. <laughs> right. Why are you out there protecting the rappers, right. the singers, the entertainers who, who, who are doing, doing nothing in your community for the people? Right. Now, now you giving, giving them all that protection just to be seen. Just, just to be seen? And take pictures. And and a, 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 a rapper don't, don't care nothing about, about you, Negro. Negro. Mm. Those the entertainment the world don't care nothing about you. And, and the only time they, they want to get your support is when they want to say, oh, uh, mention, uh, who was that guy? Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, Matt Brown Muhammad's name, or the most humble black Muhammad's name, they hear your go thinking, he's for you. They don't care about you. Mm. If they came to you about you and understood, and understood the teaching of the most humble black Muhammad, which they do, oh, they bust, bust around. Okay. okay. He, he said, said he got, got the lessons and he was like 12 years old. old. If, if you, you got, got the whole set of lessons, of lessons at 12 years old, you, you got, got them lessons from El Chesedek. Because I was the only one out there giving out the whole package, the whole 120. Everybody was giving out question and answer. Question and answer. I'm getting all of them vibes out there. No. Everybody that came to me got the whole 120. I had two locations. One was on. um. 417, you look at me. No, no you look at me. No, you look at me. You look at me. In Brooklyn, between um, Empire Boulevard and Montgomery. And the other one was on 116th Street in 7th Avenue. Now, those two locations, everybody knows all the gods will bear me witness was a distribution center for the lessons. Everybody that came by me, came to them store, they know they got the whole. Package. The, the same package, package that I'm, 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 I'm sending, sending all over the world right now. Okay? okay. They, they got, got the whole package. package. Now. You, you, you hang out with a Jay Z. Jay Z, don't give a damn about you. How many times I say to Jay Z, go back to your community, Mossy Projects, and do something constructive for your people? The same thing the message you did in Chicago, you can do it right there in Mossy Projects. Okay? Has it been done? No. 
I, I want, want you, you to understand one thing. All these so-called rappers don't care nothing about you because they got a contract with the slave master not to do nothing in your community. So they don't want to have nothing else to do with the money but buy 20 cars, all the jewelry, uh, our airplane, like Mayweather, he got 25 top-line cars that he don't even drive because most of the time he's in a hotel. And, 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 and then he go buy an airplane. What, what the hell? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And, and you're, you're going to lose all that. that. Because, because the way things are going, going this, this uh, financial situation of the country, this economy of the country, keep going, going down. down. Trust me. They're, they're going to confiscate all that to try to save the economy like they did in 1929. So don't, don't think you're getting by. Don't, don't think you're, you're being cute. Don't, don't think, think you're being respected. respected. And the grassroots hate your guts. Because, because they understand that you're in position, in, in position to, to do something constructive in their community and you're not doing it. You just want to drive around and show up like you made it. Like you, you made it. You, 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 you got over. You, how you going to get over and your, and your brother don't have nothing? Once you have more than what you need, you're supposed to help your brother. Once you have put yourself in heaven once. Nothing wrong with that. But, but if you put yourself in that one and you still got it going on, on why, why can't, can't you do something for your people in the community that you can help of? Now you go under the heading of a 10% blood sucker of poor people and you're, you're afraid, that's why you got to have security. You, you, have, you, you can't, can't go, go nowhere, but I know I got my nephew out there. He does a, a, a what you call, call escort, escort service. And he said sometimes they have to get escort you from the club to, 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 to the girl, to, 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 to the parking lot. Because you're afraid. afraid. You're, you're afraid. afraid. Okay? okay? So, so anyway, stop it. it. Wake, Wake up. up. You, you know, know what the messenger did. did. Do, Do the same thing he did in your community. You don't, you don't need nobody's permission. permission. You don't need no authorization. You, you got, got the money. money. You're, you're in North Carolina. You're in South Carolina. You're in Georgia. Wherever you came from. Do what the messenger did in in, in your, your community, community that he did in Chicago and stop making a fool out yourself because that's exactly what you're doing. In front of the world, you're a fool. Mm, yes, yes, sir. Talk, Talk to, to us, brother, brother today. Um, <clears throat> where, where is the Malcolms, the Khalid Muhammad's, and all, all the strong, strong black revolutionaries today? today? Who would you name in, in today's category, category who is alive today? today? That, that can, can be, be the Malcolm, that, that can be the Huey, that, that can be the, 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 the Khalid Muhammad. Muhammad. Do, Do we have any men today that you can say, you know what? That, that brother over there doing good, good. All right, that brother right there, there. He's, he's, he's out there, there. he's doing, doing the work, he's militant. Oh, are you ready for this? I'm glad you sit, sit down. down. No, 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 because all these so-called leaders, administrations, uh, laborers, uh, officials, and so forth, they they watered down the teachings of the Muhammad. The teachings, the Malcolms, uh, 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 the teachings, the Muhammad Muhammad's teachings have been watered down by these so-called leaders, administrations, and laborers today. Now, but, but now, 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 now growing up, up his, his, his original, original, he's all over YouTube, big time. And, and say everything he was saying 50 years ago, <laughs> you can see it manifesting today. today. You understand know what I'm saying? But, but it's, it's very hard to look, look for um, that, 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 that type of mentality. mentality. The mentality is out there, so it's, it's out there. there. It, it just hasn't surfaced yet, but, but it's out there. there. Because every, every uh, situation, Every, Every situation, situation that takes place, place there's always a, su a supreme mind, a, a supreme mind, uh, um, uh, how you say, uh, manifests itself to, to, uh, to, 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 to take care, uh, uh, to solve the problem of that area. Okay. okay. What, what you're, you're saying, saying Sanadam, 
that, that mind, mind is out there. there. Okay? And, and now, now you, you say, said, when is it going to surface? I do not know. know. But, but it's, it's going to surface. surface. Things, things are never going to get to, uh, 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 yeah. yeah. Things, yeah. Things are never going to get to, uh, 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 too critical where, uh, 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 uh it's, it's, it's going to get, um, when, 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 when the answer, answer or the solution won't come. come. Okay, okay, now. now. This, this is, is with the problem with the virus, virus. Uh, the, the pandemic, pandemic uh, the, the COVID-19. Okay. The, the universal force and power, power, I say, shut down, down the world. world. When, when no bat in China, China no, 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 no professor, they don't know nothing. nothing. It, it would shut the whole universal force and power, shut down the world. And, and that universal force and power is controlled by the universal most high God who came in the person of Master W.D. for our night. And all the rulers of the world are frightened, they're scared to death. Okay? And, and they don't know what to do, how to handle it, they're just guessing, guessing, guessing. Okay? And of, uh, uh, you, you would, would never think, think that America, that had millions of people out there playing, will be evacuated, deserted. Medina, deserted. The whole movie world was shut down. The whole uh, musical world was shut down. The whole sports world was shut down. The whole uh, religious world uh, uh, shut down. Now, where's all these preachers? All, all you ministers, all you clergy out there, all you Bible readers, all you Quran readers, all you prayer rug prayers. prayers or, where, where are you? Where's your power? Where's your God? Why can't you explain this situation? Why can't you solve this situation? Here you people have so knowledgeable, so much biblical understanding, okay? But yet it's still you running out of mass on it. Okay? You're afraid. You're frightened. You can, my, I have never, never seen, seen. <laughs> every, every corner, corner now. Take the shot, take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. And not only that, bro, they <laughs> even offering you loose joints. Yeah. You know what? Oh, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and marijuana. And if you take the shot, we give you five loose joints. And, and, and give you know that, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, seriously, and giving out a, 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 a free metro card for a week of few metro card. Yeah. And and you take me, no, I'm not taking a shot. No, no, no. You know why I'm not taking a shot? No, this is me, though. No. Now, the reason why I'm not taking a shot, because if you don't understand Yakub history, the same meal that they were putting in the brains of the baby to destroy them, that's the same meal they put in your arm to destroy you. Okay? Okay? So, so all those that take the shot, I'm not telling nobody what to do. Let me make that plain. Let me make that plain. I'm not telling nobody what to do. You do what you feel is best for yourself. Melchizedek Supreme Shabazz Allah is not taking no shot. Okay. All right. Now, now anybody want to do that? that? That's, that's up to you. Okay. Because, because I see that the effect of it going to be very devastating. Three to six months. Mm. Very dead. You want to bring about homosexuality, autism. I mean, you never had you never had homosexual activity. So so uh, uh, so uh, 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 so so uh, 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 so 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 <laughs> yeah. don't, don't be surprised, surprised if the vaccine, vaccine don't, don't bring about, about that, that, that program that, that you see on TV, you don't, don't see it out in the street amongst, amongst the people. The walking dead. Wow, so we're going to be the ones that's going to have to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you yeah. definitely. Yeah. All oh, yeah. those who's not vaccinated. <laughs> definitely, 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 definitely. Oh, man. See, so, no, I suggest, I'm not telling nobody what to do. So I'm wondering why I say, well, he said don't do it. Uh, uh, I'm not taking no shot. And I don't inform all my members of my family, don't take the shot. Okay, now whoever wants to take it, you have that right to do it. You're responsible for yourself. I'm responsible for me. And check this out. I just had, a, what was it, three weeks ago, I had a complete examination. 85, yeah. yeah. At, at th three weeks ago. And he walked up here like it was nothing. 
<laughs> and then, and, uh, three weeks ago, I had a complete examination. Mm -hmm. But I got to print out and everything. Now, how Excellent. long have you been a vegetarian? Like, when, oh, I mean, when year have you stopped eating meat? Oh, 1950. Damn, man. <laughs> 1950? No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Not 1950. Excuse me. Excuse me. When I came into the temple, 1961. Wow. The first Ramadan. The first Ramadan, me, me and my queen, Queen Willamie Muhammad. She was the bean pie queen in New York. She had about 12 brothers working for her. So you've been queen. a vegetarian for 50 plus years. Yeah, yeah. No meat. No meat. For since 1961. What about fish? And fish, I've been on fish now about 30 years. You've been off fish. Off fish. So you don't eat nothing with a face on it? No. I deal with the, the, the source, I say this to you, the source of all medication is vegetation. Mm. And vegetation is created by the universe of divine creation is what creates vegetation. So it's easy for you today. Oh, it's man. like. It's like, this Nothing. Is a sign. Nothing. Like, um, oh man, how many meals do you eat a day? Sometimes I don't eat at all. <laughs> but usually one, one. But it's usually fruits or vegetables. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. You can take apple, oranges, bananas, and pears, cut it up with a, with a quarter juice, and sit down and eat that. You'll be full. Apples, oranges, all the fruit. Bananas, fruit. Caught up, uh, your, your fruits. Variety uh -huh. of your fruits. Right. And grapes. You can have your grapes, your plums, whatever. Variety of fruits. Right. And sit down and have that. And I guarantee you have to be full. See, we was programming to eat meat. It's just a habit from our from the slave plantation, then our parents and so forth. What well, we going hey, we had to eat what we had because they weren't giving us nothing else. Right, right. So see, but if you come into the knowledge of yourself and your health and the, and the points of put, you're going for preserve. You're not growing no more. You're going for preservance. Don't nothing get old but immune to food. Mm -hmm. The only thing you're going to do is get more experience in life, but you're not going to age. You understand? More experience, and by keeping up with the changes of life and everything, that keeps that preserves your mind. You look good. Your skin is going. You got good skin. Yeah, yo, um, I'm fine. Damn, man. That's, it, it, that's beautiful, brother. Mr. Yeah. Franklin got me about two years. He's 88, mm. and I'll be 80. I'll be 86 November. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. but, but but he has all, all kind of medical problems. I ain't got no medical problems. How come you don't know? How come you never sit down with Minister Farrakhan? Man, man Mr. Farrakhan is not gonna sit down with me. <laughs> Why not, man? Y'all know each other very well. No, because of the fact. <laughs> Men, I gotta give him credit though. Men of the Farrakhan took care of, oh, he was smoking. I mean, I gotta give him credit for the good work that he did. Men of Farrakhan did a job, okay? And that's the reason why I, uh, 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 I promote him for all these years. And you know, I promote Mr. Farrakhan big time. You ain't got a, a brother in the nation. You ain't got nobody in America. Nobody in America promoted Minister Farrakhan more than me. This is an actual fact. Mm -hmm. I put Minister Farrakhan no, other than Chicago. Chicago number one, Melchizedek number two, and every brother knows that. I make all these brothers out there who say, I'm with Farrakhan, I'm Farrakhan. I make them feel shame. If I ask them, you with Farrakhan, the, the Farrakhan building that set on 125th Street, it's still there. How come you don't go, all you gotta do is go put a table there. Yep. <laughs> all you gotta do is, Sonetta, I can go tomorrow morning, put up two tables, and let all men of Farrakhan's lectures, and get paid. <laughs> you mean tell 125th Street, the number one avenue in the country, from one river to the other? And you ain't got nobody out there upholding Minister Farrakhan's lectures, DVDs, yeah, CDs, crazy, publication, right? and you gonna tell me you with Minister Farrakhan? You's a liar. I tell you to your face, you's a liar. Okay, and you do you are not with him, and you don't have the faith in him. You don't tr you don't uh, 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 you don't follow him. You don't even believe in him because if you believe in Minister Farrakhan, like you say you do. You would have a, a from river to river on 125th Street. No, not one table with Minister Farrakhan's lectures on there, and you walking up and down, walking up and down there talking. I'm with Farrakhan. You are a liar. Right. 
Okay, and the reason why you have a problem with me because my works, actions, and deeds show you up as doing nothing, as doing nothing. Okay, so that's the that's the, the reason for that. What's your name? Have you seen the movie Judas? Okay. There's a movie out there called Judas and the Black Messiah. Okay. Okay. So I ain't gonna ask you that one then. No, 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 talk to no, no, us. No, no. Talk to us about. COINTELPRO and the FBI infiltration of our movement and how can we identify a Judas today? Oh, okay. That's easy. <laughs> the only way, if you have an organization, a nation organization, well, the, messenger, the messenger always always says that the nation of Islam is honeycombed by uh, uh, FBI, COINTEL, CIA, stool pigeons, informers, and the whole nine yards. Okay. Well, Melchizedek, how did the messenger, why was the messenger so able to build up the powerless black economical program in the country that's untouchable, that nobody else is able to duplicate, duplicate with all these forces around him? The FBI, CIA, stool pigeons, whatever. You know how? He never detoured from the teachings of Master Farah Muhammad. See, once you have supreme knowledge and you stay focused on supreme knowledge, then the universal force and power is with you. But if you detour, you understand, or you try to add on or take away, then the, the universal power withdraws itself and then you stand there looking like a fool. How come I'm able to do what I do without interference? I'm surrounded by FBI, CIA, formers, and whatever. Don't stop me. Because y'all know I stay focused on the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, word for word, right and exact. I don't add to it. I don't take away from it, just like he said it. And y'all know that. That's why I'm untouchable and can do what I do. OK? I put men to friend con tapes, hunt thousands. How come y'all don't do that? Nuri. I saw more Nuri. <laughs> I saw more Nuri lectures more than him. I know. I know. More than him. And the only one that could surpass me but Mr. Farrakhan's distribution of publications and literature and, so, and, and tapes and, and lectures and things is Chicago. Outside Chicago. Nobody can top me in promoting Minister Farrakhan, and y'all know that. But I have your petty, ignorant stupidity and jealousy and laziness. You have a problem with that, and that's why you try to say something negative about me. That don't work, because I don't care what you say. Oh, I can lay in my bed. The phone call comes and tell me <laughs> who said it and when was it. Just like you was down there at the Barcade Center. Now, mm -hmm. you down at the Barcade Center. To do doing your regular as as a, a, as a um, journalist, a journal, journalist and everything. Here come a clown, a a big dumb clown, going to come up and say, "You shouldn't be videoing down. You shouldn't be doing no videos because you 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 in, you <laughs> what is it? You interviews Melchizedek. Yeah, you interviews Melchizedek. Now." Well, two of the brothers came up on me and asked me, why do I interview you? Okay. Two of that's in the nation of Islam. Right. That's crazy. Man. Okay, now, you're saying it. Now, Sanat just saying it. He's down there at the, the Barclay Center doing his thing in journalism. Two brothers from the nation of Islam comes up and asks him, why do he interviews me? And look how stupid you are. Well, you was right there. Why didn't why, why you let him interview you? Right. He gave me his card and told me, I asked him, I said, yo, brother, my mic is open for everybody. I tried yeah. to come at y'all, y'all are too busy for me. Yeah. You know, if I was Eminem or somebody like that, you'd probably come running to me. Yeah. You know? So he goes, oh, no, nah, son, here's my card. Here's my card. Call me. I called him the next day. <laughs> he only had one minute to talk to me. He told me, oh, brother, I'm at the dinner table. I'll call you back. Never, Never call me back. Me. I took his card and I threw it in the garbage. Uh, that's where his card belonged, in, the garbage. in the garbage. But his, that's where his mind is at, in the garbage. Yep. Now, you're not as a journalist. You're, you're not here 
during the DMX, the, uh, DMX thing. DVD. DVD. DMX. Why, why would uh, here come brothers from the nation saying, asking you why you interview me? A journalist can't discriminate. A journalist is a journalist that in, 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 interview everybody. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's a universal thing, a universal permission, a, a position that interviews everybody. Why? And them two brothers, whoever they were, but two jackasses. Now, why didn't they let you to interview them? There you go. Huh? I asked them. But out of that Christian mentality, out of that permission, authorization, afraid, don't know what to talk about, that's the mentality. Let me see. Um, you know what I notice about the brothers, and it's a sad thing. It's real sad about the brothers that's in the Nation of Islam. I noticed that when rappers pass away or rappers come to the Barclay or there's rappers that will go somewhere, the Nation of Islam come out in full force. And you would think that they doing some great work. Like nobody needed you for security to come out for the DMX. They had their own security and the security was pretty good. Nobody ain't doing nothing for the DMX Memorial. Everybody was out there to have a good time, but they come out there deep with their suits on just to be seen, just to act like they somebody. You know what I'm saying? I saw this, but here you go, right across the street in your own Mars block, you got dope fiends on the corner, crack addicts on the corner, people getting high right in front of your spot across the street, and you ain't got nothing for that. But you come out just for when rappers just to be seen of men. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like you're doing work, yeah. like you're doing the work. Brother, brother. <laughs> rappers, them rappers out there, not all, most of them, they don't care nothing about the nation. Right. I can prove it to you. Because they don't do nothing for the nation. Show me one rapper that went in his community and set up constructive programs with the money he got from the community. Name me one. Name me, name me one. None. Rappers don't care about nothing. I keep telling you, the ninety-five percent of them rappers is alcoholics, drug addicts, homosexual, sold they sold, and they hold for thirty pieces of gold, a bunch of Illuminati faggots. And that's the actual fact. Okay? And that's why they all end up what? O D, most of them, not all, drug addicts, come down. You can't show me nothing positive about these so-called rappers. Nothing positive, okay? And they don't teach, uh, 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 they don't rap on stop the violence, don't carry the guns, pull your pants up. They don't teach nothing educational for the youth. Nothing educational for the youth. And it was the rappers, not all, 95%, it was the rappers because the young generation of Sarnetta, they was on their way of getting an education. They was going to the college direction, being somebody, uh, seeking to be lawyers and doctors and professionals and engineers and techni uh, te technical skills and so forth. It was the rappers, 95%, not all, that came up with that gangster rap because the slave master paid you money to, 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 to downgrade your people and mainly the black woman, the black woman this, the black woman that. But you never say nothing about a white woman. You know, I never heard you downgrade a white woman. The only one that came out with the downgrading of a white woman was Dr. Abdul Khalid Muhammad, because he came out with it. We got on DVD lectures and tapes and, and everything that the white woman was a two-legged dog. And not one of y'all followed up with that statement after Dr. Abdul Khalid because you've been sold out, you sold your soul and your whole for 30 pieces of gold and that's a bunch of Illuminati faggots, okay? And that's the reason why you're unproductive and a producer of nothing when it comes to doing constructive things in the community that you came out of. Okay, last question, brother, and I'm gonna let you roll. Here's the thing. Explain your book, brother. Oh, right, 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 right. That's it. Yeah. Close out on that. Yeah. Get a good picture of it. <laughs> Got it. Got a nice shot. Got a 
good food. Yeah. Got it. Got it? Food? Mm -hmm. July 4th, 1930. Got it. Okay. That's for you. Oh, man. Go ahead. Oh, Thank you me. got everything. See, so, so a lot of people sleep on you. They don't know you got everything. <laughs> now, that book, The Pathway to Islam, is the history of Master W.D. Farad Muhammad. Okay? And it's available. Okay? Uh, 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 it tells you, it teaches you all about um, how he came. came it came in uh, 1930. Came, came from, from the Holy City of Mecca and he came by boat by himself. July 4th. Yeah, yeah July 4th. And, yeah, and of, um, that's when he made himself known. Uh, July 4th. And, of, um, and he was teaching in Black Bottom, all in the houses. Everything he had this silks, he had silks and little umbrellas and things that he was selling. But he wasn't selling them because he was like he was a, uh, 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 a salesman or anything. He used that as a reason to get into the houses to teach the people, and and he used to teach in the houses the people all all night long in the houses in the basements. They used to go get chairs and benches and so forth and come in to, to hear him teach. Sometimes he'd be teaching so teaching so like some of them would just fall out. The whole history is there. And this uh, history comes from Supreme Minister John Muhammad's, okay, his archive, okay? So you got people out there saying, well, that's my book, that's my, why you do that? When it comes to the teachings, let me make this plain. When it comes to the teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad that he received from Master W.D. Farah Muhammad, don't nobody own that. You can't copyright the word of God, Okay? You cannot copyright the word of God. Anything that you can copyright, that's not the word of God. Okay? So, so, so keep that in mind. So it's available. You can go on my Facebook, uh, Melchek Shabazz Allah, or either go to uh, um, Universal. My website is UniversalSupremeShabazzAllah.com. UniversalSupremeShabazzAllah.com. Come, okay, go there. All them lessons is there, and it's been there for 21 years. Okay, and the queen mother of civilization that set that up in an organized, uh, a neat, organized professional order was uh, Queen Sakia Rafika Shabazz. Queen Sakia Rafika Shabazz, who has a, 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 a big economical program down in Richmond, Virginia called United Parents Against Lead Poison. You can go on her website, United Parents Against Lead Poison, and you'll see her whole, her whole program there. And um, so the book is available. Now the book, the contribution for the book is only $15. Some people out there are trying $50. $50 for, for that, that's a blood sucker. Anybody that's out there selling the Messenger's publications, for $50, it's a 10% blood sucker. I don't care who you are. If you out there selling this book for $50, you are a 10% blood sucker. No publications of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad should be above $15. I'll tell you that straight. None. And anybody got a problem with me saying that? I'm here to tell you. I can care less, okay? None. We're not here, out here to rob and blood suck our people. We're out here to share the wisdom with our people for a reasonable uh, 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 price, a reasonable contribution because they have to take care of the printer and everything because fools who had a uh, 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 printing, a uh, 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 Muhammad's printing uh, 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 press sold the press. Let me News. ask you, what do you think about... <clears throat> our people in the next five years from now in terms of economics because black people are still like children when it comes to economics, economics right that's a fact right there good question you can have two lectures set up in your community right one could be about poverty economics and getting your way out of the community right the other one could be about sarah suit and seti versus polite, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
And Where do you think the majority of the people was gonna go? And Cyril said he burst right, and neither one of them doing nothing. <laughs> just just run their mouth. They but, will fill up us uh, uh, the, the the battle. Yeah. They will want to go and see the fight because that's what our people like. Right. But when because I look online, when I be looking at these economical programs online, <laughs> it'd be like maybe fifty people in there watching. Then you go to the other channels that they got on YouTube. And it'd be like thousands of people watching. Thousands of people watching. BS, bro. Do you know do you know the number one, the biggest seller in America? What? Ignorance. Yes. The biggest seller, the biggest seller in America is ignorance. You're right, because I seen brothers get out of jail mm. and become pastors because they learned the science of Man, I could become a preacher and I could make this money. It's a hustle. It's a you see, it's the same thing. I, yeah. I know a couple of them right. that is pre that's preachers now. Okay. That's now, on the pulpit reading that Bible, brother. Now you wanna know why? Why? Because when you become a preacher, you get paid by the government under heading of tax exempt. That's right. Okay? That's right. You, that's your salary. And 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 your position is to 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 to, to keep Black people, keep your congregation asleep. Believe in the white Jesus. Get your Christmas tree. <laughs> yep. It's not funny, but it's, it's a shame. Everybody wants to be a Christian preacher. Because Christian preacher, oh, you got all the women. You sleep with all the con Mostly all the women in the congregation, you sleep with them. Okay? The women buying the cake. They bake, they bake you cake. They won't even bake, bake their husband a cake, but they bake the preacher a cake. Right. <laughs> Huh? Uh, do they do that? Uh, yeah. uh, where are you going? Oh, I gotta take the I gotta take the, the pastor dinner. Excuse me? You gotta take the pastor dinner. Well, what you do when you go on your way there? Take your suitcase, which is and stay with the pastor. Okay. Right. But no, that's the reason why, brother. So let Ign me ask you this though. And see, ignorance, wait a minute. Ignorance takes you away from reality because the reality is do something for your people, and the only thing you can do for your people in their situation is what. The best of food, the best of clothing, the best of shelter, the best of transportation, and let them to have a vacation. So that means you have to create what? Industry, you have to have jobs, you have to have a, a, a affordable houses, daycare centers, educational centers, recreational centers, a library, schools, a hospital. The, the, the necessities of life, you have to have, uh, 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 you have to, you're responsible for, for establishing that in all the communities that you came out of. So let me ask you this now. This is a tough one for you. You ready? <laughs> Go ahead. Minister Louis Farrakhan is a very, 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 very smart brother. Smart uh -huh. man. Yeah. How come he never taught his congregation about the history of his people? Why have he kept talking about Islam and the Muslim stuff, how come? And I'm not talking about what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught. Uh -huh. I'm talking about now he's into more of the Sunni stuff now. You see what I'm saying? And these these five-day praying Muslims, these Sunni Arab dudes, how come Minister Farrakhan never taught the history of black people like Dr. Khalid and Du Muhammad, bro? Okay. Like I said earlier, Minister Farrakhan has done great work and I, and, and I have to give him credit because like I said I, I was hey, I promoted for years for what 10 20 years I supported him big time like nobody nobody promoted him more than me N not in just in the sunshine I'm talking about in the cold you know in the cold yeah. I'm out there with boots a snowsuit a Sherilyn a hoodie all that so because I respected the good work that he did now, but he allowed himself to go in to go in that direction, and what and the reason why it was a uh, 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 whether he realized it or not, he was able to go in that direction is because he 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 don't, he don't have an understanding of economics. See, when you have understanding of economics, when you got an economic mentality, just the, just the economical business mind going to keep you focused on reality. Because you know if you want a house, you, you got to have somebody to get the house. You know, whatever you want to do in your community, it takes money, so you, you stay focused on that. Now, what we can't blame 
or a Mr. Farrakhan. Mr. Farrakhan don't have nobody around him with an economical mind. 